flash by. Most movable props don't block flashes, but there is one that does. Dion DH pointed out the amazing flash resistant property that buckets seem to have. Now all we needed is a way of consistently exploiting this to our advantage. I discovered a few weapon bugs myself when doing the skin showcases recently. If you press the reload button whilst inspecting a weapon, then your character will do a strange flick at the end of the animation. I had to edit out way too many of these since it turns out that I'm a phantom reloader. Most weapons leave a trail of smoke for a while after firing. Valve didn't bother programming multiple smokes when dual wielding with the dualies, so you'll find that only the right handed gun smokes after use. The UMP45's reload sound is out by about half a second as well. Also, the M4 takes a split second to start its equipping animation. I think it's like this with a lot of weapons, but the M4's tip is visible before this point, completely motionless at the bottom of the screen. Source apparently doesn't like diagonal walls. If you jump at them while spamming left and right, you'll occasionally get stuck in the air for a split second. Thanks to Swisher for discovering this over on Overpass. Very much like the wall walk I covered previously on Dust2, Olaf Kaford discovered a wall walk over on Cobble just here. It doesn't work every time, but edge carefully out beyond the ledge and you may find yourself floating in the air. Valve, please fix. AWOL, also known as Chris, found that by switching teams quickly in deathmatch mode after choosing a weapon lets you keep it even though you might end up on the opposite team to the one that can normally buy it. For example, buy an AK-47 and quickly switch to the CTs and you'll keep the AK. The Fox, also called Chris, found that alt tapping out of and back into a full screen session of CSGO removes these icons on the main menu. It also made me only legendary eagle, even though in my heart I'm definitely global elite. And lastly, upon switching to a new weapon, it can sometimes appear to fire, even though it clearly isn't. I wasn't able to repeat this, but Olex Prost posted a very convincing video where he totally ruined his deathmatch score to demonstrate it. Well done Olex, you're the hero we need. All of these bugs beg the question, does CSGO have more bugs than most games, or is it just because it's played so much that all of these bugs are eventually discovered?